Welcome back. This is Mote Kamel Moses Mwadende. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to load the I mean, data set on uh, Jupyter. So, before doing uh, data pre processing in machine learning, we should first load our data uh, on Jupyter notebook. And this is how we do. First of all, you need to start Anaconda Navigator. As you can see, Anaconda Navigator is loading. So, after you have already started Anaconda Navigator, you should launch Anaconda, no, I, I mean you should launch uh, Jupyter Notebook, which will open up on your default browser of your computer. Let's wait for Anaconda to load. So, on my desktop, you can see there is a, a folder named as machine learning. So, this is folder which I'll use for doing uh, this project. And there is a mini data set uh, which has or have extension of .csv. Uh, this is a mini data set which contain our data. So make sure you have this. Create your folder on desktop for doing your project and make sure inside of your folder there is a data set as you can see. So after I mean Anaconda to load, uh, you will launch uh, Jupyter Notebook as I have said that uh, it will open on your default browser of your computer. So this is Jupyter Notebook, which we will use for doing, I mean, our project. So launch it. As I said before that Jupyter Notebook will open on your, I mean, default browser of your computer. Uh, Microsoft Edge, is my default uh, <clears throat> my default browser of my computer so here we go these are the folders are uh, found in my computer so you should find uh, I mean a folder named as a desktop click on that this is folder I showed you before that uh, it's a folder for doing uh, our project. If you don't have it, you may create. And here you can see it is found on desktop. So you can click on that. So this is folder present in desktop. So if you don't have, go to your desktop and create folder called <coughs> machine learning. So if you click on this, you may see uh, <clears throat> this is our data set. And these are the columns. These are the columns uh, which are found. <clears throat> so after, after, I mean, after we have seen our data set, I mean our data, these are the columns. What you need to do is to create a new, I mean a new Jupyter Notebook. How do we do that? Click on new, then Python 3. Wait for it to load. So this is your new or our new, I mean a Jupyter Notebook. You can name it loading data set so in this i mean jupyter notebook will load our data set yeah so 
as you know, uh, before loading your data set, you should import, I mean, important libraries which will help you on loading a data set on your, uh, I mean, on your Jupyter notebook. So <clears throat> these are the fo the following are the libraries which will be used for loading a mini data set. Import NumPy, import NumPy as NP, import pandas, import pandas as PD uh, from pandas, import lead uh, CSV. So now we are done. As you can see here, the name of I mean of our file is called is called uh, <clears throat> is called breast cancer. Yeah, you can copy it. You can copy it. This is the name of I mean our file. So here you should do like what you do in a programming language this will be like a variable so write file name uh, single quote then paste this is the name of a file called I mean breast cancer this is the data set which consists of different diagnosis of patient suffering I mean breast cancer and the purpose of this project uh, which was done uh, by <clears throat> by me or I with my fellow uh, it was to I mean to train a machine so that it can be able to predict whether a patient is uh, <clears throat> is suffering breast cancer or not so this file consists of different diagnosis of breast cancer patient so <clears throat> write data is equal to read uh, csv like this way then write file name then here write data dot head five so the meaning of this head data dot head dot five is to show five first rows of our data set. So <clears throat> you can put comment that lead I mean lead data as pandas data frame. So we take this data as pandas data frame. You can put comment again that show first, I mean, first five, first five rows. So to learn your, I mean, your source code or your lines, code your lines in Jupyter Notebook, you can click here, learn, or you can control then enter. I like shortcut, but you can use also this. So let's wait for data to load. So let's remove this. Let's remove this. Save and let's try to learn again now you can see uh, these are the i mean these are the columns edge menopause thomas size invo nodes node caps uh dead mileage breast uh, and so forth this is the class you want to predict either a patient is true suffering for breast cancer or false so this is true this is false so this is how you can load it. 
this yeah i mean 0 1 2 3 4 these are the number of rows so rows are counted from 0 uh, continuously or you can call it as index so <clears throat> thank you for watching uh, this was tutorial on how you can load your data set i mean on your jupyter notebook do not miss the next video uh, which or in which you learn how to do data preprocessing, how you can preprocess your data, how you can transform them from categorical or string to numeric. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Motek and I'm Noel Moses Modende. Thank you. See you in the next video.